Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mauer Doctor here for another review. Today I will be continuing on with my malware removal series. Specifically, we will be testing the infected computer against ESET's online scanner. I have also added a couple of pieces of newer malware to this test to keep it more up to date, but pretty much all the infections that were on the last couple tests are still present in this review. I'm not going to really explain the background to this review. You can watch the other parts of the video, which are in the description, to kind of get a better idea. But basically, we have several infections on the computer. We're locked out of Task Manager. A lot of startup programs, Windows Firewall keeps getting disabled. So as an average computer user, we are trying to remove malware the quickest way possible off the computer without unnecessarily getting more anti-malware cleaning utilities involved. So pretty much the quickest the most effective method possible. Now you can already see we're in safe mode. I haven't even tried to go into normal window operating mode because I already we've already done that in the last three parts of this series. And in case you're wondering why I keep doing these malware removal videos, it's that the malware selection is not as ample as I would like in order to conduct a test of an antivirus program. So that is why I am sticking with malware removal videos for the time being. However, I do expect to release an antivirus test hopefully within the next week or so, maybe two, but definitely before the end of the year. But regardless, I have ESET's online scanner. They do operate in safe mode. ESET's online scanner, if you have not already seen it in my previous reviews, it's a free scanner that is offered by ESET. It's a one-time scanner. However, once you run it once inside of your browser, you're given the option to store the definitions on the computer so that if you were to run it again, it doesn't have to download all the definitions all over again, which is pretty nifty. And when you are first getting the scan started with ESET, you're given the option to enable detection of potential winner programs or, or disable detection. Whenever I run a scan with ESET's online scanner in any of my reviews, I always enable the detection of potential wanted applications. If we were to go under advanced settings, we can see that it is set to remove found threats. ESET's online scanner will either clean the files or delete the whole files if they contain malicious code. The anti-stealth technology is also enabled, which helps detect already active rootkits in the active memory. Even though rootkits can, can bury themselves deep within the kernel, of the operating system more than active legitimate processes. The effectiveness of anti-cell technology, I question that a little bit in regards to rootkit detection, but we will leave that checked. And once we start the scan, now it, I have already run the run ESET's online scanner in the past, so we don't need to update definitions that are already on the computer. Uh, let me just see if I can get this scan going and I will be right back. Hello everybody, I'm back. I just restarted the computer and it appears ESET's almost finished updating its fire signature database. So once that is done, the scan should begin and I'll be back once that is complete. Hello everybody, I'm back. ESET's online scanner finished. It says it scanned over 66,000 files, found 280 infected files, cleaned 273. It took about 18 minutes. And we can see we are missing a lot of the malicious files that were on the desktop when we began the review. If we list the threats that it found, now if it has desktop in the file extension location, I wouldn't be too concerned about that, but several items in app data, roaming, program files. Again, it's pretty much all the same stuff we already have found in the previous reviews. However, we're seeing how ESET Online Scanner removes the threats with a lot of stuff that was on the desktop. Then we have some stuff in Windows right down here. And then this thing in operating memory. It appears it contains infected files. So if we go back and we manage to quarantine. All of these files have been detected. However, we don't have a designated action for them. So now at this point, if we select uninstall, if you want to remove all of ESET's online scanner files from your computer, but underneath all that, it says delete quarantined files. 
So we are going to delete the quarantine files. It appears it is removing the files as we speak if it is not already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot back up into the normal Windows operating mode. I'm going to run some scans, hopefully more than I did with the last one. I hope to get at least four scanning engines in with this. And I will be back. Hello everybody, I'm back. Mowerbytes finished scanning. We found a few files, uh, exactly 37 and 875 non malware items. I suspect a lot of them are probably stemming from one or two potential one programs, but regardless, let's see what we have. We have something in downloads folder, so we're not too concerned about that. We do have this potential one installer. Optimize your PC, so maybe these registry programs that are installed. Something in app data roaming, some registry key entries. And as we can see, this is what makes up looks like a good majority of those non malware items that were detected. And then it appears we have something else in registry data. If we look at Super Anti Spyware, it found one item in a temp folder. Norton Power Racer appears it found several items in the registry, but that appears to be it on Norton Power Racer's part. Komodo Cleaning Essentials, scan finished, found three items. Didn't appear as though it found any threats other than modified host. I don't recall modifying the host anytime recently, so that could be that could be an actual change made to the system by the malware infection. Him in Pro appears to found a couple items that can no longer be found on the computer, something can download, so not too concerned about that. It's FLV player, so I don't really think that much threat of it. And it appears we have something in Windows. Bitdefender detects it. And it appears that would be about it. So overall, I am pretty satisfied with how ESET's online scanner performed. I mean, to think that all you have to do is pretty much run it directly from your browser, though you do have to install something on your computer. However, while you do have to install something on your computer, it's a pretty much an automatic process on ESET's part. So it doesn't really require much from the user. And if you can access safe mode and access the internet, then it pretty much takes care of a lot of the threats that were on this computer, which is a very nice performance that ESET has provided us today. However, you do have to keep in mind that it is an online scanner, and if malware, which it has before, and will very commonly block internet access, you might not be able to use ESET's online scanner at first, but definitely I would recommend it. If you could access the internet and you can see how well clean the system, I think it did a pretty good job. And overall, I think it was a pretty painless process. If we do check to see if we can access Task Manager, we can see that we can access that just fine. Not noticing any unusual processes in Task Manager. However, if we do access MS Config, we still have a few entries in here. I mean, like I mentioned in, I forget which remove video, but you can just disable those items or you can actually remove them through CCleaner. So I really wouldn't think too much of them. Now, we do have these registry cleaners that are on the computer. I just wanted to see, generally speaking, during these malware removal videos, how these tested products would handle registry cleaners, desk defraggers, and that kind of thing. Didn't appear as though it really removed those items, but I kind of threw them in kind of as a bonus if you want to look at it like that. But like I said before, ESA did a very good job, and I think that'll be about it for this review. Take from as you wish, and I will talk to you later. Bye.